Fala, excessively compassionate, extremely merciful. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will discuss about phrase structure rules. You see, um, the basic structure or the deep structure of a sentence is consisted of noun phrase and verb phrase according to Chomsky. We can get uh, it surface more complicated surface structure by applying certain transformational rules. But to construct the basic sentence, we should be aware of how we can construct noun phrases as well as verb phrases. So when we talk about the noun phrase, the basically noun is a name of thing. It's a part of speech, name of person, location, animal, name of any object. So it's a noun. So a noun phrase, we can attach other related words to construct noun phrase. These related words can be determiners, they can be adjectives or pre preposition phrase. Determiners are also known as articles and uh, determiners are a and the. While the adjectives are all those words that modify noun. And uh, preposition phrase starts with preposition and it takes preposition object. This preposition object can be either noun or pronoun. For instance, under the table is a preposition phrase. Here under is preposition. The table is preposition object. For instance, we are having a noun book. So uh, determiners and adjectives can modify noun. For instance, my book an old book, poetry book, the new book, famous book, or the red book. And we can attach um, preposition phrases uh, to enhance a uh, noun phrase. For instance, my book on the table, an old book in the bag, poetry book with cover, the new book under desk, famous book on the top, the red book at home. So it can, uh, we, it, this is the way we can construct noun phrase. So when we talk about the adjectives, adjectives are a little bit complicated uh, concept. You see the basic definition of an adjective is this all those words that modify the noun. So noun can be modified by determiners. So uh, the determiners are adjectives. For instance, in determiners we are having a, an, and the, a pen, an egg, or the book. So you see pen, egg, and book are noun, while a pen an egg, the book, these are noun phrases, a uh, and the determiners, and it basically all these are adjectives. Certain pronouns can be used as adjectives. When the pronouns modify noun, they are adjectives in their functions. For instance, and these adjectives are known as pronominal adjectives. In pronominal adjectives, we are having possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, and indefinite pronouns. Possessive pronouns like my book. My is pronoun, but here its function is an adjective, right? Because it is modifying the noun. That book, that is dem demonstrative pronoun and it is modifying the noun so that in its function is an adjective which book which is interrogative pronoun and um, here its function is as adjective another book another is indefinite pronoun and uh, as another is modifying the noun so its function is an adjective so all those pronouns that modify a noun, they are adjectives in their function and they are known as pronominal adjectives. Numbers 
can also modify nouns and these are uh, num uh, numeral adjectives. For instance, cardinal numbers, ordinal numbers and multiplicatives are adjectives like uh, five boys, third row, double sheet. So um, all those cardinal, ordinal numbers that modify nouns, they are adjectives in their function and they are known as numeral adjectives. Numeral adjectives. Nouns can modify other nouns. So if noun is modifying another noun, those nouns are known as attributive nouns or pre-modifiers. For instance, common nouns can modify another noun, proper noun or possessive nouns can modify another noun. Like winter weather, July storms, Alice, Troy. Winter weather, winter is common noun. It is modifying another common noun. So winter is attributive noun or pre-modifier. While the July is strong, July is proper noun. It is modifying common noun. So July is adjective in its function or it is known as attributive noun or pre-modifier. Alice try. Alice is possessive noun that is modifying another noun. Form of verbs can also modify a noun. If any form of verb is modifying a noun, it is known as uh, participle adjectives. And um, its function is like adjective. For instance, a broken plate. Broken is a form of verb. Ruined city. Ruined is a form of verb. Crying baby. Baby's crying is also a form of verb, but here in this phrase, in noun phrase, they are performing function as an adjectives and grammatically they are known as participant adjectives. Adverbs can also modify verb adjectives, noun phrase, verbs or another adverb. For instance, and be almost the whole cake, verbs broken aggressively, another adverbs very fast, adjectives clarify, the degree or intensity, a little sad boy or very good boy. Modifiers or um, adverbs are modifiers. And they are used as adjective, for instance, qualifiers and intensify. Qualifiers are those words that weakens the impact of a word, while the intensifiers are those words that strengthens the impact of a word. For instance, a figure, very tall tree. Preposition, phrase structure. As um, I told you earlier, preposition is consisted of uh, preposition and noun phrase. So we can draw its structure in this way. Preposition, the main note will be a preposition and it is divided into two parts. One is preposition, the other is noun phrase. So in preposition, we are having in a noun phrase, we are having determiner, the and noun, that is room. So yeah. Observe the next T structure, preposition, P and NP, P with NP determiner, adjective and noun, a black bag. So um, have a look on noun phrase. A noun phrase, a single simple noun is Ali, noun with determiner, a boy, noun with determiner and adjective, a little boy, noun with determiner adjective and preposition a cute boy in the car so uh, we will draw its uh, tree structure so the first note will be np and p is only consisted of noun so you can write np then noun and 
Ali. The next is noun and determiner. The boy, so note is NP determiner the and noun is boy. The little boy. This phrase is consisted of uh, determiner, adjective and noun. So we will draw the T structure in a way. NP determiner, adjective noun, determiner the adjective little and noun boy. Next is a cute boy in a car. It is determiner, adjective, noun and preposition. So NP is having determiner, adjective, noun and preposition phrase. Determiner a adjective cute, noun boy, preposition is P and NP in P in NP determiner and noun determiner is a and noun is car. A very friendly, beautiful boy in the car. A very friendly, beautiful. A is determiner. Very friendly, beautiful is adjective phrase. Baby is noun in the park is preposition phrase. So you will draw the structure in a way that NP is consisted of determiner adjective phrase noun and preposition phrase determiner is a adjective phrase is having a adverb phrase and adjective in adverb we are having double adverbs very and friendly and adjective is beautiful noun is baby and the preposition is p and np p is in np is determiner and Noun determiner is the and noun is park. Another example an extremely broken, ugly image in people's mind. So you see, this is a long, complicated noun phrase, and uh, image is basically the head as a noun, and is determiner. Extremely broken, ugly is adjective phrase in people's mind is preposition phrase so have a look how you, uh, you can draw its structure noun phrase is consisted of determiner adjective phrase noun and preposition phrase determiner and adjective phrase adverb phrase and adjective in adverb we are having adverb extremely and pronominal adjective uh, sorry participle adjective as broken adjective ugly noun image preposition phrase p and np p is in np is noun and another noun a noun as a pre-modifier peoples and uh, n is a uh, noun is minds So now we will talk about verb phrase. Verb phrase is cons uh, verb, uh, when you have to construct a verb phrase. A verb can have other parts as noun phrase, preposition phrase, or adverb. The same, the simple verb is uh, one verb that is, for instance, eight. Verb with n p, eight the cake. Verb with NP and PP ate the cake in the party. Verb phrase with NP, PP and adverb at the cake in the party happily. You can draw its T structure in a way. If you are having ate the cake, so VP is consisted of V and NP. V we are having eight. NP is determiner and noun the and cake. Uh, ate the cake in the party. Here we are having main verb that is ate and uh, it is modified by noun phrase and preposition phrase. So you will draw in a way that NP is having uh, verb and uh, sorry VP is having verb and P and PP. In V ate we are having and NP determiner and noun the cake. Preposition is 
consisted of P and N. P, P is in, N, P is determiner and now determiner the noun party. Jumped into the river suddenly. This verb phrase is having preposition phrase into the river and adverb suddenly. So you will draw the main uh, note just like um, VP, V, PP and adverb. V is jumped, PP is P and NP, P is into, NP is determiner and noun, determiner the noun is river. This is revise kar lete hai, jo bhi humne aaj discuss ki hai. Hum padhe the phrase structure rules. To phrase structure ki jab hum baat karte hai ki to basic sentence hai. Uska deep structure jo hota hai, wo noun phrase or wo phrase par mushtamil hota hai. तो अगर आप कोई भी सेंटेंस उठा लें तो हम उस सेंटेंस को दो हिस्सों में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं एक को हम सब्जेक्ट कहते हैं या उसको आप एनपी कहेंगे दूसरे को हम प्रेडिकेट कहते हैं या फिर हम उसको वो फ्रेस कहेंगे तो यानी कि जब आपने कोई भी सेंटेंस बनाना है या उसको अंडरस्टैंड करना है या उसका एनालिसिस करना है उसको एग्जामिन करना है तो आपको नाउन फ्रेस पता होना चाहिए और आपको वो फ्रेस पता होना चाहिए तो नाउन फ्रेज में मैक्सिमम जो पार्ट्स या कंपोनेंट्स हम ऐड कर सकते हैं उसको नाउन फ्रेज को बताने के लिए वो डिटर्मिनर है वो एडजेक्टिव्स है और वो प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है इसके अलावा आप नाउन फ्रेज में कोई और पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच या कोई और एलिमेंट या कंपोनेंट ऐड नहीं कर सकते सो इट्स वेरी वेरी सिंपल डायरेक्ट जब आप भी आपने नाउन फ्रेज बनाना हो या डिटर्मिनर आएगा या एडजेक्टिव आएगा या प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज आएगा या फिर तीनों के तीनों आ सकते हैं इसके अलावा नाउन फ्रेज में कोई भी चीज ऐड नहीं होगी ठीक है जी उसके बाद हम बात करते हैं वर्ब फ्रेज की वर्ब फ्रेज में हम एन पी वर्ब फ्रेज में हो सकता है प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज हो सकता है और एड वर्ब हो सकता है ठीक है तो इसके अलावा वर्ब फ्रेज में कुछ भी नहीं होगा तो तीन कंपोनेंट्स या वो जो पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच आप कह लें नॉन फ्रेज में है जो कि डिटर्मिनर एडजेक्टिव और प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है और तीन ही पार्ट्स या एलिमेंट्स वो फ्रेज में है उनमें से एक नॉन फ्रेज है एक प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है और एक एड वर्ब है तो इसमें आपने एक बात नोट की होगी कि जो प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है वो नॉन फ्रेज में और व फ्रेज में कॉमन है यानी कि हम इसको सिंपली ये कह सकते हैं कि जो प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है अगर तो ये नाउन को मॉडिफाई करता है तो ये एन पी का पार्ट होगा और अगर ये प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज वर्ब को मॉडिफाई करता है तो ये वर्ब का पार्ट होगा यानी कि इसकी नोट आप एन पी से निकालेंगे अगर ये नाउन को मॉडिफाई कर रहा है और इसकी पी पी की नोट आप वी पी से निकालेंगे अगर ये वर्ब फ्रेज को मॉडिफाई करता है फॉर इंस्टेंस द बॉय विद डार्क ग्लासेस अब द डार्क विद डार्क ग्लासेस प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है जो कि बॉय को मॉडिफाई कर रहा है तो इसका मतलब है ये एन पी का पार्ट है शी शाउट इट इन हर लाउड वॉइस इन हर लाउड वॉइस प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है लेकिन ये जो एक्ट है या एक्शन है शाउट उसको मॉडिफाई कर रहा है तो ये प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज क्या करेगा एन पी का पार्ट होगा यानी कि जो प्रापोजिशन फ्रेज है ये सेंटेंस में दो फंक्शन परफॉर्म करता है या तो ये एज अ एजेक्टिव इसका फंक्शन है जब ये मॉडिफाई करता है नाउन को या फिर ये एज एन एट वर्ब अपेयर होता है जब ये मॉडिफाई करता है वर्ब को सो आई थिंक सो यू आर क्लियर इफ यू आर हैविंग सर्टेन क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट थैंक थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ हैप्पी लर्निंग I love this.